She's so adorable. So, that black cat. Do you think it works for someone? I'm sure it does. It wouldn't try to lead us around like that if somebody didn't train it to. I wouldn't know. I've never had one myself. If I did, it'd probably try to eat poor Hoodle. <laughs> I wonder who they are, though. I doubt this is Dohalim's work. Yeah, he has no reason to do this. Although we can't rule out that it might be one of his lackeys, either. You think one of his subordinates is up to something? That Dohalim guy is a pretty unusual character for a Renan, let alone for a lord. It's hard for me to imagine that they all agree with what he's doing. Maybe one of them plucked up the courage to go rogue. Well, let's head further in. I'd like to figure out at least one of the mysteries of this place. Follow the kitty! Follow the kitty! Oh. Where do you think it's trying to lead us? Who knows? We should hurry. We don't want to lose it. Whoever came up with this is pretty damn clever. Yeah, it just looks like an ordinary cute cat. We lost sight of the cat. After the chase it's led us on, there's got to be something up ahead. Let's go farther in. I get that underground forests aren't exactly something you see every day, but I really could have done without any zoogles running around. You said it. I get the city up top surrounded by castle walls. But now I won't be able to sleep easy knowing they're lurking underneath. You have nothing to fear. Zoogles work for the Renans. There might be strays out here, but the other Zoogles won't let them get close. Using Zoogles to keep watch over their own kind, huh? That would explain why we're not seeing any guards. Yeah, which makes it that much easier for someone to hide around here, too. Huh. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, Shion. My foot slipped. Are you all right? I should be asking you. <laughs> what am I saying? Of course you're okay. It's easy to forget sometimes. If anybody else had been in your place, they'd be howling right about now. Huh? Oh, right. You mean your thorns. Yeah, I'm... Uh, no worse for wear over here. Again... Sorry for brushing you like that without warning. Well, just be careful. <sighs> hey, Alfin? Hmm? Forget it. It's nothing. I'm sorry to bother you. The ship is getting so hard! Uh, oh, okay. Seriously, look at those two! Come on now! What's with those two? They want to do the do! Alright. Oh, here we go, boys. I've been itching for a fight! But opponent like this should be easy. Move it, I'll tear you apart! Ow! Okay, well, that's one of them. Oh! Good to know! Nope! Here we go! That was easy. Almost. Uh, 
All right, let's find some more of these fuckers before that meter runs out. Ooh, peach gel. Yes, give me that shit, bruh. Okay, we were there. Come on, come on, come on. All righty, motherfuckers. Let me change my arts really quick. We can. All right, more the trees around here are so big is because of astral energy, right? It's possible, but give them enough time, and trees can get pretty big on their own without any extra help. All right, you sons of bitches. Bapara fucking boop beep. This should make for some good weapon crafting material. You give me more enemies, bitches. But a opponent like this would be easy. Fuck you, bitch. It's over. This ends now. Consider yourself finished. See you continue on in that thing. Yes, my lady. Get toasty. Burn strike. I think we're about to be real lucky. Yeah, better hope there's no giant dragons. Better hope to oh two thousand bucks? Okay. Oh, we're not gonna make it. Yeah, we're not gonna make it. What is this over here? Oh no, we were we were just here. Yeah, there's no enemies. Never mind. <laughs> what is over here? Keep climbing. The structure is always uh, the structure is always fucking beautiful. Holy shit! 
Are right, you sons of bitches ready to fucking die? Little help! Bam, 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 baby! Oh shit, okay, we were supposed to go over here, but uh, let me actually go to the other one first. Because I'm curious where this leads. There. Hello, motherfuckers! Oh shit. There's one bitch. I'm ready for the next battle. Was this dramatic music? Ooh, where does this lead to? Careful, we don't want to fall here. Yeah, I doubt anyone would hear if we even called for help. Holy fucking shit! Little help! I'm like fate to them! Fuck you, bitch! Everything. I need to be stronger. What we got? The design of this equipment is really interesting. Uh, will this be for you though? Nope. Oh. We. You must really like it, Alfin. Are the champions? Guess I misread the landing. Uh, I didn't. I meant for you to actually fall that <laughs> high up. Okay, now we can go to the inner level. Here we go, boys. What if I do this? Not 
Fucking bitches. Rinwell is so tiny. Easy peasy. Ha huh, hoodle. Just thought I had to say that. Yeah. Alright, more enemies. Gotta find more enemies. I'm very thirsty for them. Come at me, bitches! Fucking damn it! Holy shit, 300 XP, fuck yeah! No fuck you! Be enemies, be enemies. Yes, you're all ready to fucking die. Come on, come on. That sounded sweet, to be honest. It's like we're gonna lose the small fry. Alright, oh pie. And yes, I knew what I meant. <laughs> Everywhere you look, it's nothing but green, green, and more green. Just like Calaglia. Rocks, rocks, and more rocks. Get lost! Yellow! It's over! Oh, that freaking dog! Like Don't mind if I do! Here I come! 
Oh, no, no, Come on, hopefully it'll be like a big boss fight or something over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. What can you what can you afford? What can you afford? Fuck fuck fuck. Gimme this Give me this shit. Life bottles. You learn I uh, save. Level 21, you're stupid. It's crazy. I've never seen anything like these plants before. It's like they're an invasive species. Not that I'm surprised. Calaglia's all dry and Cislodia oh, is... Watch out. Oh, shit! Is that a Zoogle? That thing is huge! Everyone, be careful! Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! Why can't these dumb plants just keep to themselves? Less whining and more fighting, thanks! Yeah, yeah, I got you! Watch it! The enemy is over there! It's over. Try harder. Not a chance. Eat shit, bitch. I'll smash you. You're mine. Dragon. 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 Dodge it! Dodge it! Wave! Dodge it! Wave! Dodge it! Wave! What the hell gotta do? What the hell gotta do? Burn it! Thank you, fam. Okay. Watch out for those red dragons. I can speak proper English. Fuck you! I'll check their enemies, of course! The moment! The moment! Fuck you! So those are Dan and Astro Arts. Something you want to say? Not so long as you keep them pointed toward the enemy. Fuck you! Dragon Swarm! Nothing in the other truly are small. What about me? Shoot it now! I'll be 
almost impressed. Kill it! Lola Rondo! Lola Rondo! Mirage! Fuck you, bitch! This feels a bit too easy, but fuck it! I feel like that was a little bit too easy. Just saying. There's gotta be more to it. Are you serious? That's it? Oh. I guess that okay? was it. Uh. I'm starting to get that it's a trap feeling again, guys. We'll just pray you're wrong. Hey, there's that cat. You're putting us in danger, you Looks stupid like it's cat. Not done leading us yet. Judging by the stench, holy shit! I'd say the animals at the ranch are all grown now. I feel stronger. I mean, a bit. Good. We're counting on you, Rinwell. On me? Well, I'll do my best. Damn, we be clapping a lot. Fuck. I'm so glad we actually went there when with the bonus and shit. Holy fuck. Should we really be lighting a campfire in the middle of a forest? Yeah. You scared of starting a fire? As long as we put it out thoroughly afterwards, we'll be fine. Really, it's a good thing to have a fire here. It'll keep the Zoogles away. Have you both forgotten what we've come out here to do? I'll let them relax, Shion. It's good to unwind every now and again. <sighs> if you say so. Let's do some cooking. This should definitely keep you guys full. <laughs> Mind if I join you, Law? Hey, Alfin. When do you find the time to train? What's brought this on all of a sudden? It's just, even without the Blazing Sword, you'd still be able to hold your own, right? But I never see you training. I'd hardly call it a regimen. Unless exchanging blows with Zoogles counts. I mean, sure, I get that real-life practice beats training any day. But you must have the odd trick or two up your sleeve. I just told you. I really don't. Wait, I've got it. It's your armor, right? You channel the extra weight into your strikes and... It's actually not as heavy as it looks. So not the armor, huh? In that case... <sighs> just calm down a little, would you? Why are you so fixated on this anyway? Well, because I want to make myself stronger. You're strong enough as it is. I almost feel sorry for those Renin soldiers. It's not enough. I need to keep working to get stronger. I won't allow myself to fail anyone again. Law? I'm useless the way I am now. If someone else dies because of me... Law! Uh, uh... Sorry. Spiraling into self-doubt won't do me any favors. I know that. None of us are invincible, Law. We're all just getting by, doing the best we can. That's all we can ask of each other, right? It's as good a place as any to start, I guess. To start what? My new training regimen, of course. And what better way to kick it off than push-ups? One, two, three... Four! <laughs> I admire your enthusiasm. Just don't overdo it, okay? Just wait. You'll see how strong I can get. <laughs> I'll take guard duty tonight. It's fine.
I feel pretty refreshed after that sleep. There's a rat! What the fuck? Alright, let's keep going. It better not all be for nothing. Somehow I doubt it'll be a wasted trip. Really? Whatever you say, I guess. Let's follow. All right, where does this lead to? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. A guard. Oh You're not too good at tailing people. Oh you dude law. That was fucking badass. Yo, praise the boy. Holy shit. I thought we were like, oh yeah, we're definitely gonna be fucked. Oh yeah, we're where that's no no law's not stupid. He ain't stupid. He may be an idiot, but he's not stupid. That's a brag. This kind of thing is my specialty. <laughs> so it really is you. When Law told us, I almost didn't believe it. I'm just Ooh, surprised shit. you do two things at once, Law. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Huh? Oh, oh shit! Oh god, are we gonna? Oh, we're gonna fight. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Ooh, oh shit. Okay. It looks like somebody. Let's put our hornies away. The one time I wanted to resolve things peacefully. All right, Kisar, let's do it. What the hell? I thought you wanted us to leave. You'll never make me talk. Not helpful. In fact, you're pretty damn stubborn. You know that? There's one bitch. Okay, she has a shield. So La, about the time you do the shit. Shoot her. We're here to capture your booty. Just coming quietly! And this won't have to be so messy! Oh shit! Not today, bitch! Jesus Christ. Once she joins us, she better have this much HP. I swear to God. Did she just get like. Oh shit! No, 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 Shoot her! Damn it. Thank you. We've all got enough on our Yes, ma'am. It's a fucking shield, guys! Dragon Sword! We should neither. Okay. 
I know they have the system where any of these people join us, they're gonna be like, what percent as strong as they are now? Which I find bullshit, so unfair. I don't give a shit why. It's total bullshit. It's fucking obvious. Come on, Kisara, you fucking bitch. Okay, let's reach our strategy here really quick. Oh, that's it? Oh, okay. Okay, I guess we are doing good. Because thankfully, they're not idiots. All right, guys, we're here to capture the booty bug. Enough life bottles for this shit, so it's okay. Oh no, you should not piss off the law. No, 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 no. Give it, give it! This ends now! Consider the number! We beat her! What's your deal, huh? Did Doalim put you up to this? You send us away and then come to finish us off? I don't buy it. <laughs> I wonder. We came here following a black cat. What reason could you have for tagging along? Certainly not as a spy. You think she might have business with whoever called us out here? And even if she did, I highly doubt she was trying to keep us from harm. Am I wrong? That looks Just like a fucking sniper from that view. <laughs> Answer me. Are you serious? <laughs> Hold your horses. Whoa, who the fuck are you? I'm the one who summoned you all here. Whoa, your voice is very bassy. <laughs> well, maybe not all. Nice of you to drop by, Kisara. It's been a while. Who the fuck are you? You two know each other? Who's that? Hello, brother. Oh! Brother!
So, you're the big heroes who liberated Calaglia and Cislodia, huh? It's an honor to meet you all. We didn't do it all Who's on Who's the own. voice of that guy? Anyways, I'm gonna look it up. from others along the way. <laughs> so, wait. Kisara's your sister? Yep, that she is. The only family I have left. She was the dreamer of the two of us. Full of hope for the future of this realm. For both Danans and Renans alike. For Ooh. siblings. Okay, this guy's exactly pretty look new. Like you're on the best of terms. Who the... That's because Migal mm. here is a traitor. Isn't that right? Oh, that's <laughs> his name. We were in the guard together. That is, until he was caught plotting to assassinate His Excellency Lord Dohalim. He took off after that. Is that true? I don't recognize him, but good to know. <laughs> you still believe that's what happened? <gasps> I don't oh! See why I shouldn't. Even if the truth slapped you in the face, oh, you reject it. That, that the same drama. dude? Oh uh, shit! Even now, I'm still working to serve Lord Dohalim. More lies. You haven't changed. Oh! And he's from three houses. Lord Dohalim came to power, I just haven't seen enough of his work to recognize him. There we go. Okay. We lost both of our parents to it. Ooh. Back in those days, there were countless Danon children who had been orphaned by the Renan's tyranny. Just like us. So we formed our own families among ourselves and helped each other out, surviving as best we could. And then Lord Dohalim came along. He abolished the oppression that kept us down, and the Danans were treated like people again. Menencio was reborn under his watch, and orphaned children became a thing of the past. If so, then why did you betray him? I'm not done talking. I'm sure you know the Renans are trying to harvest astral energy from us Danans. Yes. Shion here told me that's how they decide their next sovereign. That's right. There are five types of astral energy. Earth, water, fire, wind, and light. All of them are contained within every living being. And that's the excuse they use to enslave us. You ever wondered what happens to living beings and other matter when they lose all their astral energy? They just die, or so I thought. If only. See for yourselves. Oh! Whoa! What the... Is that... Is that... Metal? Not metal, but to be honest, your guess is as good as mine. I believe it's... Nothing. The fuck you mean nothing? Matter with no physical form. Just a reminder of what was once there. Oh. They call it the hollowing. The hollowing? The process itself is invisible to the naked eye, but it makes the impacted area reflective. Once it consumes my whole body, that's it for me. I'm dead. What? I can't... Miguel... When were you going to... A sinister plot is unfolding as we speak. One Lord Dohalim is likely none the wiser to. It was blind luck I even found out about it. I tried to warn the man for all the good it did. Take a look at this. It's called the Fruit of Helgen. When a Danon eats this fruit, their body enters a heightened state. One that causes them to emit more astral energy than usual. Hold on. Could this be the reason Alfin and Law were feeling out of sorts last night after we ate with Dohalim? Sounds like you've been introduced to these things before. None too surprising either. Most of the realm's food supply contains traces of the fruit. That motherfucker! If that's what we ate, does that mean we'll become hollowed like your hand? You don't need to worry. You'd have to consume a large amount of the fruit regularly to exhibit any symptoms. Thank God, shit! But if that's the case, 
Then why aren't I showing any symptoms? Why would you be inflicted and not me? If I had to guess, because the guards' meals are free of it. Otherwise, they'd risk Lord Dohalim noticing. I tried to warn him, but all it got me was locked up. They force-fed me the fruit the entire time I was in chains. Oh, God. It's a miracle I made it out. Damn them shit. left me for dead, thinking I would succumb to my condition. But I survived and managed to escape. So the assassination plot. Just a cover-up? What? Eventually, I found others like me. And together, we founded the Gold Dust Cats. Oh! Our mission is to uncover the truth and warn Lord Dohalim. Mm -hmm. As you can see, though, we haven't gotten very far in that regard. Yeah. But I'm hoping that's about to change, now you're here. Which is all thanks to your faithful feline servant. <laughs> it was a shot in the dark. But fortunately, you recognized her for what she was, and Zara accomplished her mission with flying colors. Hell yeah! So what's our plan of attack, boss? One of the Lord's routine inspections of the city. It's the only time commoners can talk to him face to face. That's the idea, anyway. His security is bound to be on high alert, but with you lot along, it's the best chance we're going to get to approach him. All right, we're in. I have to know. How do you keep going with all you've been through? How have you not given up hope? Hey, someone has to fight for the future of the Danans here. The future? Lord Doholi may be a wonderful person, but in the end, he's still a lord like any other. And lords can be replaced. Once the current contest is over, the next lord of Elba Menencia will take over. Then it'll be back to square one for all of us. That's why it's imperative Lord Dohalim sees the light. You really believe Dohalim is going to stick his neck out for a Danon like you? Is it so impossible to imagine? Everything begins with a simple leap of faith. Oh, nothing! Are you kidding me? Oh, okay. Oh, but we cannot rest at the camp. Oh, we cannot fast travel. Fuck. All right. What's our health? Uh, not that bad, but we need to recover at some point. Holy shit. Uh, no, not yet. Let's discover some shit. Open up this bad boy. Got a treat. Huh? 
Can't sleep? And you? I woke up randomly and couldn't fall back asleep. I'll go back to bed once I get tired again. How's your shoulder? Huh? My shoulder? Oh, you mean where Dohalim smacked me? It feels a little off, but... Ah, it's fine. I'll manage. Doesn't look like it's gotten much better. I'll give you some more healing. That should do the trick. Hey, yeah, you're right. That feels much better. Thanks, Xion. I've been thinking about what happened, and I was out of line. I know it takes more than a couple of bullets to bring down a lord. Forget about it. It's fine now. We all got out of there safe, and now you've healed me up too. We're going to take down all the lords. That was the promise we made, right? Yeah, I guess. But there was one other thing I wanted to ask you. Back at the palace, Law said you took that hit because you were worried about me. What was it you were worried about? That's... kinda hard to explain. We both have a thing for each other. Just say it! Just tell me. Well, for one, if we lost you, I wouldn't be able to use the Blazing Sword anymore. Obviously. <laughs> but more important than that, I guess... I just couldn't let you die. Honestly, I think that's all there is to it. There you go saying stuff like that again. You never learn, do you? But... So we can fulfill our promise, right? R right. Glad you remember that much. You okay? <sighs> anyway, I think I'm gonna go to bed. Sleep well. Doing. You want the D? I sent Kisara back to town under the cover of night. You do realize that she was searching for you all this time, right? I wonder why. She never could let things go, ever since we were kids. Maybe she was keeping an eye on you all because she thought you might cause trouble. I wouldn't be surprised. Do we need to be worried about her? She could easily report us. Even if we could have kept her here, it would have just raised more suspicion. Besides, I want to believe in her. More leaps of faith, huh? <laughs> Once we make our move, I'll send Zare to come fetch you again. Until then... Stay close and try not to wander off too far. In any case, guys, I am getting Guess pretty we're waiting tired. From the golf for the time being. Let's go out somewhere then. Twiddling my thumbs isn't my style. I'm going with you if you are. If I let you people go unsupervised, you'd probably wind up too far out for Megal's news to reach. Oh come on, we're not children. Yes, you are. How about you make like the rest of the city and play nice for once? Huh. 
any case, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. And if you are new to the channel, I hope you subscribe and everything. I will see you guys next time. Peace.